Good morning, everybody. Yeah. We're in Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. We just came back from St. Louis this morning. Mm -hmm. And we are here for, what, four for or six hours? Some, uh, something like that. Yeah, so we have uh, a lot of, some, some time here in downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here at a hot dog place, a chili dog place that has been highlighted numerous times on like the travel and food channels. It's the, uh, the Lafayette. Coney Island, Coney Dog. Island Dog, and there's actually two hot dog places that have been highlighted right yeah. next to each other. And the other one's American Coney yeah, Island, which is you can see the Lafayette right here, right behind us, and the American is right in that blue awning. Right now, sure. the American Coney Island, they have a location in the D Hotel that's the one in that's Las Vegas, underneath, yeah, in Vegas. Yeah, and that's because the D stands for Detroit, yeah, over there mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. So yeah, these are the two hot dog places that are pretty much in competition with each other a lot of years many years and we're gonna try it out we're gonna try them out and give you our opinion yep. on which one's better yep. you ready ready babe yeah. here we go here's adam richmond This is Lafayette Coney Island hot dog. We got it by design. Yep. So we have the dog with the chili, with the mustard, and the onions. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of excited for this one. Yes. We'll see. First time. It's all ready. Here we go. Really soft bun. Mm. It's a hot dog. bun is super soft. The chili doesn't ah. overtake the hot dog. It's perfectly matched. The dog has a good snap to that dog. The bun is absolutely soft. Easy to eat. Easy when you're hungry to have two or three of these. Easy. Really good. I, I could tell right away that, that just like you said the bun is almost like steamed. It's super super soft. Uh, raw crisp onions on top, mustard, and that chili. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The hot dog definitely has a snap to the skin. The chili is on the very much on the mouth side. I don't. Um, have a big chili flavor to it. And the onions are not are not harsh at all. The mustard comes through nicely. This is a good um Konya Island dog. Okay, right next door. Now right next door, American Coney Island. This is the next one we're gonna try. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Can tell the bun is still super soft. Here we go. My first bite. Mm. Nice snap on the dog. Mm -hmm. The bun is soft. The chili is more prominent in this dog. I haven't gotten to the mustard or the onion yet, but right now. I like this dog better. Oh, yep. Just like the one that right next to our Lafayette's, very soft. Man. A little bit less onions. You can tell that these onions are chopped a little bit more big. Same amount of mustard and same amount of chili. There so we go. Cheers. what you mean. You can taste the chili. A little bit more on this one. The onions are just as fresh and crisp as the one is Lafayette's. Very good snap on the hot dog. And actually I can tell that this hot dog is a little bit more juicier. 
not that Lafayette was dried out or anything, but it just has definitely a lot more hot dog, juicy goodness to it. Very good one. Very familiar taste because this is the one we had in Las Vegas. And it so. tastes just like the one in Vegas. It does. Not very baby. consistent. Yeah. Very consistent. We just got through yeah. tasting the, the best chili dogs mm -hmm. in Detroit. What do you think, babe? Which one's your favorite? Mm, I like the American Coney Island. Yeah, I like the American Coney Island because I like the chili. But then I like Lafayette Coney Island because I just like the atmosphere. The people in there, there's, when you can, it feels like you can sit down and talk a story for days in there. So, yeah, it was yeah. a lot more home kind of yes. small business mm -hmm. feel and Which more like. of, a, of a big company for yeah, it's a, uh, it feels American like a Coney Island. Big business for American Coney Island. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I do agree that the, uh, as far as taste, overall taste of the uh, chili dog, I, I did enjoy American Coney Island. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Lafayette you, was good too. It was very good. If you if you don't mind chili or if you don't eat chili and the onions and stuff, I go Lafayette because it's just much more family. It oh. just feels much more family. Prices. Oh, prices. So Lafayette is uh, three bucks. Whether or not you get it, that, where how it comes with the chili, the mustard, and the onions, or just a dog. So it's three bucks uh, straight up, yeah. straight up. And in American Colony Island, it is three nineteen plus tax, and so it was six seventy six. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit, just a teeny bit more expensive because of the tax, and it's a little bit higher. But it was both of them were very good dogs, though. They were, they were. So now we're gonna kind of walk around here in downtown. We have no idea what's here because our first time in Detroit. Right? So, you can see it's windy. Yeah. And uh, later today, we're gonna try the best Detroit pizza. pizza. From yeah. what we hear. What we hear, exactly. What we hear. So now we're gonna explore this area. So there's this, what is this called? It's like a park in the middle of the city. No, the swinging oh, the bench. Swing. Yeah, it's called a swinging bench. Right? There's a swinging bench right in the middle of downtown. Yeah. It's kind of cool. What is that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. Okay, we're walking through the city and we come to the Riverwalk, which is the Detroit River. And right across the Detroit River is Canada, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Well, but we didn't bring our passports, so we got to stay on our side. But yeah, I that's think so, yeah. Idea. I don't think our driver's license is enough. There's a flag. There it is. Good job, Ed. Hey, this is Calypso. Welcome to Detroit. I got no rhythm. We got these cold brew coffees from a um, little market across the street. We're in downtown. Uh, this is a local Michigan brew. And uh, we are here at the 44 Burrito Cannon Truck. And one of their specials is homemade cheesecakes. They have different kinds, but we got the original. And this was $6 for the cheesecake. It's a big one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cold. <laughs> Very good cheesecake. It was super cold. That's why I couldn't stop it. A little taste of, um, I want to think cinnamon, kind of? Maybe not. Maybe just cheese. I don't know. Nice graham crust. The toppings on it. Which I'm guessing is like a graham topping. But yeah. Good, good cheesecake. Kind of reminds me, uh, what's that place in New York called? Junior's. Yeah. It's about the consistency of Junior's cheesecake. But Junior's doesn't use the graham crust, but this one does. So yeah, good cheesecake. It is posted on Insta, so whoever my has my Insta, there it is right there. 
They're like, hey, let's try this out. He told me not to take it too big of a bite. Next is a humongous bite. Big, right? Yeah, it's a humongous bite. Try this Only because it's really cold. cold. Here we go. Oh, it's yummy. It's cold. It's a bee. Very rich tasting. Really good cheesecake. Very again, very rich. I definitely have to drink something with it, like a coffee. Which I got the mocha one. Mm, perfect. It's um. It's a sweet enough for a cheesecake, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, um, kind of dense. Very good cheesecake flavor. It almost tastes like, you know how you get the carrot cake and you have the cream cheese frosting on top of the carrot cake? This is exactly what it tastes like, but in a cheesecake form. It's mm -hmm. really good. Alley, which is almost like a little eatery area and bar. Here's the bar, and right behind Bill is three different types of restaurants that you can eat at. A good little, some anything from pizzas to Filipino like food to smoke barbecue stuff. Good stuff in here. And we got a local beer. It's called Yum Town from Detroit. Nice and fruity. It's kind of lemony. It's a good beer. We're just sharing the beer because uh, you know we, we're gonna drive and stuff. So, cheers. Oh, lemony. Kind of shandy. Yeah, I was just about to mention. It's almost like a lemon shandy. Uh, not. Not too sour. It has the right amount of lemon flavor to it. And it's not very strong. What do you say, like 4.1%? 4.7%. 4.7%. Yeah. So we could have we could have each had one. Yeah, perfect to share. <laughs> oh, how much was it, babe? Uh six bucks. Six dollars for, for a glass. We made it to Dearborn, Michigan now, which was about 30 minutes from downtown where yeah. we were. Uh, it's closer to the airport. So we went first to downtown, which is kind of far from the airport. Mm -hmm. And now we're going back towards the airport. Right. And we are here at Buddy's Pizza. Mm -hmm. Now and there's uh, several locations here in, in Michigan. But this is the OG. Yeah, it's yeah, supposed to be the mm -hmm. one here in, uh, in Dearborn. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to go in. I think we came in a good time because it's not really busy right now. Yeah. Now yeah. when yeah, we chose this spot because when people talk about Detroit style pizza, only one name pops up. Buddies. Buddies. Mm -hmm. And apparently they use these blue uh, steel pans mm -hmm. that they used to use in the uh, auto workers where they used to put metal parts, car parts inside these metal pans. So, so I guess now they season them and use them to make square pies. Yeah, we're gonna go order up a pie. Yes, they ready? don't sell slices here. Slices. Slices. The only they don't sell slices here is only whole pies. Yeah. But luckily they have like a uh, four, four square, four square, and a six square. We're gonna get the four square. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, each. we do. Hope I don't burn my tongue. Try this out. Mm. The crust is perfect. The tomato sauce is very light, very cheesy. The cheese is salty, but it matches perfectly with the light tomato sauce and the crust. Look at that burnt cheese corner right here. It kind of what is it got uh, caramelized that cheese right there here we go mm. 
That's the best part of the pizza. Right in the corner. Two corners, a little bit of the middle, and pepperoni. That is it. <laughs> How'd you like that? Buddy's pizza, it's babe. so good. We weren't even very hungry, but we dusted off that pizza. It was so good. Have you yeah, been? this was one of the uh, goals or missions we had in yeah. uh, coming to Detroit. Mm -hmm. There Detroit were out. several other pizza places that we were looking at, but since we only are here for a day, our goal was to hit the two hot dog spots that we did and to come here for pizza. Right. And we accomplished it. Yay! We did, we did. And I even got my little sucker. Yep. Oh, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Bye. Uh, Buddy's Pizza or New York's Prince Street Pizza? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Just because of the pepperoni, I had to go with Prince Street. Mm. Mm. Think, the, little, the little roni cups? Yes. Cool oil with inside? Cool oil and just having the oil run down your chin and just that bite with that crunch. Oh. Prince Street. Prince but Street has it. I would definitely come back to New to Detroit just for this pizza though. It's it's really good. Yeah, uh, just to note that they have several buddies locations throughout the Detroit area. But we decided to come to their original one. Yeah, over here in Dearborn. Yeah. Of course, they did a lot of remodeling, but they've been uh, slinging pizzas for over 70 years. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And so the whole thing, including our, our pizza and our two sodas, were 1905. So it's perfect for sharing. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, perfect. Two big squares each, mm -hmm. two sodas, 19 bucks. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're about ready to close off the, the vlog, but we have a. Uh, one more spot one on more the spot. way back to the airport just yeah. to go check it out. Oh, what was your highlight over here in, oh. Michigan, in oh, uh, gosh. Detroit? The city. I was expecting an old, old city. Um, downtown Detroit. It's very up and coming. It's it's um, a lot of people are there, and there's a lot of things going on. Just to it was nice just to sit back and just kick back and watch everything that's going on with you. Yeah. I mean, just going on around, not with you, but going on around, huh, baby? Right. I was surprised at all the artwork, you know, and uh, kinds of artwork. It had that modern feel to it. And just to see Canada across the way. That yeah, was that was huh, pretty baby? cool. And the food is always the best. Yeah, next time we'll have to take a trip over to Canada. Yeah. Well, uh, that's it. That's it, babe. All right, well, thanks for watching our uh, Michigan adventures. We'll catch you guys in the next one.